Hey guys, Rusty Myers here, and dude, I was going to give y'all some good advice, and this could like save someone's life. In America, we don't want another 9-11 or something, but I've been using this e-cig right here to quit smoking, and I'm thinking, man, this is great. There is no side effects, you know, I, I'm better, I, you know, I can breathe better, so, besides the fact that, you know, the flavor they say is melon tastes like, you know, my ex Bethany sweaty booty. You know, but, you know, besides the flavors that are awful, you know, I, there's, there's a lot of dangers to these things, okay? And I was reading on the box. They said it was made, you know, in North Carolina, but filled in China. And that's probably why they're even more addictive, you know, because the Chinese, you know, the same things they put in these e-cigs is the same things they put in Chinese food. You know, you're just, you eat a lot of Chinese food and you just, you know, you defile your toilet and you're like, I'm never eating Chinese food again. Then the next day, you're like, I think I'll have Chinese food again. I'm going to get three, three spring rolls this time, you know. And so, same thing with these things. You're like, oh, it doesn't have much nicotine, you know, but it has actually a lot more. But there's a, there's a more serious problem than this addiction with these things. I was watching InfoWars, and Alex Jones said that this is the leading cause of turning men gay. He says that, you know... You see, you, you know, you won't ever see a manly man sucking on one of these. In fact, my cousin Dan, he's, he's always sucking on this thing. You know, it's just, he calls it, you know, that's what, you know, that's what people in San Francisco call a pacifier, you know. But, parent, you know, and I believe this, because my cousin BJ, and we thought he was as straight as an arrow, a good, Christian, godly Republican. He's been smoking these things for a couple of months. Well, yesterday we walked in on him, and he wasn't puffing on one of these. He was puffing on a Puerto Rican. You know, actually two of them. They were nice looking dudes though, you know, but it, hey, Alex Jones is right. You know, these things are not just addictive. That's how you become gay. So I just wanted to, you know, let people know, don't be smoking e-cigs. Also, I will say this too, and I know that conservative men don't have to take Viagra. You know, we take it just to see how it feels to be a liberal, you know. But the point is, I remember my worst experience taking Viagra was I took like two of these little blue pills. Turns out, you know, it was... One milligram Xanax. And so when me and Bethany started, you know, going at it, I looked like, you know, a drowsy elephant slapping his trunk against the back of a woman elephant. You know, it wasn't exactly a good time for her, but she's not, you know, as you know, good conservative woman, she's not used to finishing. So I just want to let you guys know that don't be smoking e-cigs. Very dangerous consequences and side effects. Also, did you guys see the video today of Melania Trump? Okay. It was like a body double or something. She kind of looked like Chuck Norris, but we need to get to the bottom of that too because there could be like a dangerous robot trying to get President Trump. I know that has nothing to do with these things. I'm just trying to figure out why Melania Trump looks different every time we see her.